All right, so we just picked up this beast. It's a 32 inch Aaron. It's a little bit older. Picked it up from the buddy. He gave it to me for free. So we're gonna go through it, drain the gas, and um, pull the carburetor, clean it, get it running, and clean up some of the snow. So let's get it in the shop and get it fixed. All right, here it is. We got this snowblower for free. One of my buddies found out I was looking for a snowblower. He said he had a couple of them that he wasn't using, and he gave me this one. Um, it's in pretty good shape. There's just a couple little things wrong with it. The handlebars are a little loose, so I might uh, weld some reinforcement bars on there just to sturdy it up. We'll probably have to drain the fuel tank, pull the car, clean that, maybe replace some fuel lines. Um, but we'll do some quick maintenance, and we'll get it outside and do some snow blowing with it. Let's check the oil, then we'll pull this shroud off, which the carburetor's underneath. We'll drain the fuel, pull the carb, clean it up really well, and put it back together. So let's get going. All right, the oil looks pretty good. Uh, it's right where it needs to be, and it looks pretty clean. Oh, look at that, right off the bat, one of the muffler bolts has rattled loose, uh-oh, or broke off. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it just rattled out. That's not too bad. All right, I went over to my box of misfit parts and dug like a five-year-old in a Lego box for about 20 minutes. But look, it came up with two perfect block washers. That's why I was hang on to uh, pretty much everything. It looks pretty tight. Um, I did break this one off, but I'm not too worried about it. It is out in the open, so I'll be able to see if it's loose or anything, so. All right, since this carburetor has been sitting for a couple of years, he said, we're just gonna pull the bowl off and see what it looks like inside. If you open this flap, it actually looks pretty clean in there. And the fuel tank was dry, and the fuel lines were dry also. So there, I think whoever used it last probably drained all the fuel which is the right thing to do. Because usually these bowls, if fuel sits in there, it turns to varnish and just gums everything up. Wow. That is uh, pretty clean. That's the cleanest carburetor I've ever seen for something just sitting for years. So let's just put this back together. I think we're good. I just wanted to pull it off and double check. Everything looks good. Don't even need to clean it. It did tear the gasket. It was pretty dry, so I'm gonna scrape this off and put some liquid gasket on it before we put it back together. Okay, we got our car back on, all the linkage. Let's put the shroud back on. Pour some fuel in it and see if she fires. All right, so there's one more thing I'd like to do to this. You see how wobbly this arm is? Just from pulling on it and moving it around, it's really loose. So I think what we need to do is we'll tighten this up, but I'll also come from here up to here and weld some kind of a bracket just to stiffen that up and help us out a little bit. So let's grab a chunk of metal and do that. All right, here's a little better view. So we're gonna come from the flat spot where it mounts up to here. And we've just got a piece of uh, quarter inch by, or 3 16 by one inch piece of flat stock. And we're just gonna weld it down here and then cut this up here. We'll go something like this and we'll cut kind of a U shape so it saddles on here. And then we'll just run a little, nice little bead and a bead there. I don't think it'll take too much. So let's get this cut.
All right, here's what I have in mind. Just something simple. Weld it up here and weld it down here. Plenty of room for the pet cock. So <clears throat> let's grind a little paint off of here. All right, something like that. Probably grab a fire extinguisher. something I think they should have done from the factory. This should should have been triangulated. What's another little slab of steel? I mean, all that stress from pushing down and picking up and pushing on it, it's all right here. And then of course this metal goes flat where they bolt it on. So it's such a weak point. I'd put some gas in it, but I don't have any gas. All my gas cans are out of camp, so let's run and grab one really quick. The roads are salty, so I'm trying to keep my truck out of the salt. So let's take the beater with a heater. Let's go. We're at Field Lettuce Ranch. Some of you that are subscribed and have watched the other videos, you're probably wondering why I built this snowplow and why I would be fixing a snowblower. So this tractor stays out here at camp with the plow and the snowblower that we're working on right now is for our house in town. So go ahead, if you haven't checked out uh, how I built this plow, scroll back a little bit and check out my other videos and subscribe, thank you. Let's grab that gas can and get back to it. Make sure there's no leaks or rots in the fuel line. Turn that puppy on. Get the primer. Choke it. You know what? I don't know why I'm pulling it. Well, you know, one thing we didn't do is pull the plug. See how that looks. Oh, I don't see any spark. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. There's teeth. Freaking idiot. Imagine that, you turn the key on and there's spark. Runs great. Man, it's amazing what a clean carburetor will do. If they would have left fuel in that, it would have been so gummed up and never ran right. All right, so we figured out why there's no fuel in the tank because it keeps leaking. So I'm going to order one of those up. And when I put it back together, how come nobody told me I didn't connect the throttle linkage? Look what the local tractor shop had. They had the um, fuel shutoff valve. So let's get that changed on it. Look at this. And this is why you keep everything or why I keep everything. We're supposed to get a storm here, so I'm waiting for snow. Impacts travel could be very difficult. Patchy blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Well
Well, let's take it outside and try it out. And we're live. That was a good little test. Cleared the driveway well. I went next door, the older lady. Snow blowed her out so at least she could get her car out if she needs to. Light still flashing. Everybody's out clearing. That worked pretty well. It works good, way better than shoveling like last year. Yeah. All right, so the snowblower worked awesome. Um, we're just gonna leave it right here in the shed, aimed out, ready to go for the next one. But if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, hit the subscribe button and I appreciate all you guys, thank you.